saying, in effect, that uh, your noble efforts uh, must be uh, uh, recognized by giving you uh, everything we possibly can without endangering our men. And a little palaver uh, where he's really complimented and we can keep him aboard when he loses the, the battle and the war. Uh, and finally, when we get through with our stump speech, the flag and the blood say to him something that will not uh, that, uh, say it to him as much as we can say. Uh, and, and without endangering our people uh, too much or unnecessarily. And I would think that we would be, could be able, would be able to say that we will not resume, this is make it appear as magnanimous and as generous and that, uh, as we can, because we, we're going to need it by our record. Uh, that here we had it all about wrapped up, and then we wouldn't answer him or we wouldn't reply. I think that's too dangerous. But we would say that you will not resume our bombing, although there are terrible things taking place right now. If a noise says, that uh, they are, they have ceased infiltration, men, supplies, and so forth. And uh, uh, as soon as we get that assurance, uh, we will uh, uh, take whatever actions we can to verify it uh, and to observe it. Land, sea, air, tunnel, and everything else. That they just be sure that they. They close down and do not one damn thing on infiltrating. And uh, within a period of uh, the very minimum necessary hours, if this is true, then we will be glad for he and the Indians, or Wilson and the, uh, the Canadians, the ICC, or anybody, ICC or co-chairman, anybody else, to observe that we are uh, Ordering augmentation stopped. And then we'll go to some neutral city, Geneva or some other place, uh, for conferences uh, in good faith that will try to uh, result in a supervised uh, election and uh, some kind of a uh, uh, self determination issue get the self-determination, neutralization, and everything else we can think of uh, in that part of it. Now, I would say that what we're going to gain by bombing uh, during the two or three days that we, uh, uh, we uh, are checking to see if infiltration has ceased is uh, not going to be enough. What we gain by bombing is not going to be enough to uh, justify us uh, uh, insisting on doing it. If we can get that kind of an agreement and if we can cut him off from uh, supplying him anyway uh, under the tunnels or Laos or sea or air anyway, just make it so damn firm. In effect, reiterate just what we've said, but uh, doctor it up a little bit and instead of saying it has stopped, uh, just have them say it has stopped and uh, uh, have Hanoi say that to the Russians, and have the Russians say to us that they believe this is true, or the co-chairman say that it's true. Uh, anyway, I think we ought to try to write a wire that when Fulbright thinks he's got you and getting ready to railroad you and yeah. send you right to jail, you yeah. can read this wire, and he'll say, well, I'll be damned. You did all of him and could. Yeah. Now, that's what we ought to decide, and you can... Talk to your military man, and then you can, uh, uh, you ought to come on down to the cabinet room. And I'd like to, though, while I'm dressing, have your thoughts on what you would do. Well, I I think that the you just put yourself, and I suppose you're president, and you know damn well that we, that we haven't thought this bombing's going to save our life, and we're just hoping, and I guess hope that we could get out of it some way or other. Uh, and uh, that uh, uh, we could. Uh, get to a table some way or other. Uh, just bear that in mind now, because we don't want to get up close to it and then get arrogant and 
and well, what cocky. The formula you, you suggest is just exactly what that I would uh, support with one minor modification, perhaps. I I hate to see another formula put on the table until we have at least word from Wilson that he said to Kosygin, well, I gave you a formula on the 7th, and then you asked for it in writing on the 10th, and I gave it to you on the 10th, and then you want to be sure it was from the highest authority, so I got that and gave that to you in writing on the 10th. Now, what do you say? And then well, I, I come back and say, well, Kosygin said nothing, he hadn't been able to get anything out of Illinois. Then I would still go back with the formula you, you suggest, but I hate to put another uh -huh. formula on. We haven't even heard from Wilson. No. Well, I, I think that just makes the question. Of I just think that makes our case better, Bob, uh, to do just what you've said. Just say now, uh, I want to thank you for your noble efforts, and certainly if uh, this nothing results from it, it won't be your fault because uh, uh, you have. Uh, operate with a tenacity and a fervor that I haven't seen before, and I just, uh, 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 as I understand it, you put it on February the 7th, and we told you when we were assured a stoppage, and then you came along in uh, February the 10th, and you did this, and then they wanted confirmed, and we confirmed it, and you said, has, we said, has stopped. And uh, that you, you and he both knew we'd already said this to uh, Anoa ahead of time. So what we'd said to Anoa, and what you'd said to him the seventh, and what you said to him the tenth, and then when we confirmed it on highest authority, it seems to me that should have produced something, and it ought to produce something. And if you can't make it produce something, I can understand uh, how harassed you must be and how disgusted you must be. But anyway. Because I love mother and God and little children, I'm still going to authorize you to once more uh, uh, continue your noble work by saying to him so and so. Well, that's sure, that's all right. I, I just am a little curious from a from a negotiating point of view here as to what Kasigan has found out. He must have found out something, and he you would have thought that the first thing Wilson would say to Kasigan, well now. You, you've been pressing all week for something. I gave it to you three different ways, three different times. You've had four days. You said you're in direct contact with Illinois. Now, what have they told you? And then Kasigan would have had to say, they told me something or they told me nothing. But well, I'd suggest that in the wire. I just, uh, and that's a good way to put it if you could write it that way. I don't know why you don't bring your own negro stenographer over there <laughs> and just dictate that way and then let us work from there. But I'd say that in the wire. Now, here's what's happened and here's what you've done. You've had four days and you haven't told us anything. Now, why don't you tell us something? And then say, I think you ought to pursue this and uh, because you've done a noble job here and I'm going to say so to the world. And uh, I think that every uh, every freedom-loving person will admire it. Now then, uh, if uh, that has failed and you've got nothing else, and it's, since it's a completely one-way street anyway, I would say, and then I'd repeat yeah, the yeah. hardest damn thing I could to be sure I live with it. And yeah. Because I have thought 95-5 and not much 5, and I don't want, though, when it leaves, him to say, well, they wouldn't answer me, number one, and I, they held back, or I could have done it. And every guy thinks, you know, you you think you just might have made a million dollars if they hadn't have, uh, Henry Ford hadn't have told you not to do something. Yeah. And let's just, uh, let's just play this one for the record. Yeah, very good. And you be thinking all these things that we stuff up his uh, uh, bottom uh, good and let him... Uh, uh, dilate before we shoot him the second one, you see. Yeah. Or you might even uh, get this one off right quick and say, I think that would make the record look a little better. Just say, we 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 understand, we sympathize with the terrible ordeal you're going through. We appreciate your noble efforts. We're going to say this to the world, and we know everybody else will appreciate them. Uh, but here's what has happened, and give him this resume, and it looks like this man could say something. And while you're trying to get him to say something, which we'd like for you to report right away, we will give you something in another hour that will uh, 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 at least uh, be the final uh, uh, straw that broke the camel's back. You know, I'd be very much inclined to, to take two, two steps. Yes, I think that's good. I think that makes it look yeah. like we're... I'd point out the, the summary that you have and send it to him and say, now, uh, here's what you've done. You offered it to him the 7th, and you couldn't yeah. have been more yeah. diligent. 
persistent, tenacious. You offered it to him the tenth, then you confirmed it, and now he's in charge. He says he's got influence in the way. They told us that, Romico, and he says he's been in touch with them. Now, what is the answer? It seems to be a blank silence. So find out the answer and communicate yeah. it to us. And we'll then be and, prepared and, to respond. And, and we'll be prepared to respond immediately. And uh, uh, if it's nothing, well, we'll still uh, give you every uh, weapon we can before it's over. Right. right. I think probably Dean and Walt and I ought to get down there. So yeah. I call Walt and ask him. I told Walt to call you now, but not to do it for five minutes, and okay. that's probably him. So I could, <laughs> so I could talk to you. Very good. Right. Thanks.